Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we got one from East Asia Soft, and you can currently grab this for $9.99. It's developed by Galop Studios, and the game is Rava. I believe I'm saying that right. And the Phantom Library. I just reviewed one of Red Alec's best games uh, ever, and I, I believe this is probably one of East Asia Soft. Spoiler alert! I uh, had such a good time with this one. Um, you play as, I hope I'm saying that name right, Rava and his four companions and you're trying to escape a library and uh, you'll use these different companions to, you know, break certain blocks like this green guy can break these color blocks you'll have a, uh, a, a wand that you can shoot enemies with uh, there's tons of hidden items, there's hidden items everywhere you're constantly finding hidden ones there's actually achievements for finding them as well uh, you'll have a blue one, I guess he shoots like ice. Uh, then there's an orange one as well, and he shoots sort of like fire that shoots up into an angle, uh, which comes in handy for fighting enemies above you. <clears throat> uh, you'll have different enemy types to different areas you're in. Uh, I thought that was a uh, pretty cool concept. You're always, uh, you know, finding new enemies that battle and learn uh, like how they, how they work. Like right here, you see I can't shoot, I had to use the wand. And then right there, you see you use the blue ice, you know, to break those blocks. And that, uh, you have to do that on just on every level. So, uh, it helps you to, you know, use all the different items and helps you find hidden things. Uh, there's really cool boss fights. They're not super difficult, but they are fun. Uh, certain things work, uh, different, you know, better on different ones right here. I am using the wand and the wand you can get upgrades to the levels that you can find. It makes it stronger and faster. I uh, got some really cool bosses. Uh, this game really reminds me of Mega Man. It has a lot of things from uh, from the, from Mega Man, in my opinion. Like there's blocks that uh, disappear and uh, reappear. Uh, just how you fight the bosses with different enemies, and they all have different attack styles. I just think it's a really cool concept, and it really reminded me of Mega Man in a lot of ways. More of like an RPG type, you know, magical fantasy type. Uh, Mega Man, though. Uh, here's another really cool boss. I don't want to spoil too much, uh, you know, as far as how you beat them and, you know, let you figure this stuff out for yourself, let you enjoy the gameplay for yourself. But it is, it is a unique unique game, and it is a really, really fun game. I had I had a great time with it. I, I played it from start to finish. I, I, quit, I couldn't quit playing it. I uh, it's got really easy achievements. Most of them are for just for beating each level. Every level looks really unique, like you see here. Like this one, you have dragons in the background. And uh, they're decently long. I'd say it takes you about 20, 30 minutes to beat each level. And if you push start, it'll tell you, uh, you know, what's hidden there and things like that. So you can, uh, you know, figure out what you missed. And, and so... I like see what you'll see here. Sometimes some things will break multiple blocks. Like this one also broke that, uh, the multicolored blocks. So sometimes different things will work on different ones. But uh, most of the time you have to use a unique weapon to uh, break certain blocks. Uh, I really don't know what else to say. I think I pretty much talked about it pretty good and uh, you know, let you know what to expect and what I enjoyed about it, I uh, I plan on playing it again. I had such a good time with it. You see here, here's the you know the disappearing blocks like in Mega Man. It really just has that vibe. It's really well designed and really worth your time, and worth your money. Ten dollars, it kind of seems like a steal because this is one I would play over again. A lot of these East Asia software I like games, I, I you know I play once and uninstall. This is one I see myself going back to. So I'm gonna give this a really really good score. It might surprise you here. But uh, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Really fun game. Really cool bosses. Uh, a unique style. Uh, cool music. I enjoyed a lot of the, the music throughout the game. So check it out. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. If you enjoyed it as much as I do, did. Hopefully you do. Hopefully you know, give you something fun to play over Christmas. Uh, nice cheap little game. Something to spend those gift cards on. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for support as always. Until next time, I'll see you in those leaderboards.